welcome to Celebrity Big Brother's Bit on the Psych, the show that's got more brain power than a thousand Lee Ryans. A thousand Lee Ryans? I don't think that would still make us not clever, really. Hang on. All right, I'm going to work it. It's the show that's got more brain power than a thousand Ryans. Yeah, that's more like it. I'm really clever, no. you know. <laughs> that, that isn't, that isn't going to cut it either. Look, we are just a very, very clever show that delves so deep into the tiny little minds of our celebrity housemates, we can almost see what they have for breakfast. Yeah, to be fair, we have had another extraordinary week of celebrity field action. I mean, we all rose to the dose at times of Lee Ryan. Didn't, didn't we, we just? Uh, we witnessed Ollie give a speech with more emotion than Winston Churchill. Uh, and we saw Louisa do a Julie Goodyear by deep-throating the world's biggest <laughs> banana. <laughs> uh, so there's a lot to discuss and we'll be going over all of it, don't worry. And in the time-honoured tradition of Saturday Night Psych, our expert brain pundits will be on hand giving you their cranial analysis. Plus, we've got a whole heap of amazing exclusives as oh, well. Amazing. But, uh, oh, amazing. Amazing. Oh, amazing. Oh, amazing. Uh, but before we jump into tonight's show, let's welcome someone very special. Now, these Saturday Night <laughs> Stories <laughs> may have led to you to believe that uh, it's just Ian and I. We've been having a little thing going on. But um, I can tell you... No, 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 yeah, I was waiting for the vote. But um, there's a lady who's been asking for a threesome every weekend. And know. with, <laughs> with an <laughs> offer like that, we could not turn her down. Making up our menage a trois, it's Carol McGiffin, Carol! ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! There she is. Oh, hello, boy. Hello, oh, lovely oh, hair. Oh, you, remind, you remind me of a slightly older Jane McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. You're like Jamie McDonald. Well, listen, let's, before we get into it, um, we've had another action packed show tonight, so here is a quick reminder of what you've missed. I can now reveal the celebrity housemate with the fewest votes and fifth to be evicted is Linda. I know. Linda. I know. Housemates, you have all made it to the Celebrity Big Brother final. Yeah! Congratulations, housemates. Have a great evening. Yeah! I've given up hating Jim. I can't be asked anymore. I think that possibly having Linda not here and me not being able to go and vent to someone that also dislikes him could be of benefit to, to me and Jim making a bit of amends, perhaps. Um, we'll see. I didn't met anyone like, met anyone like you in the fucking ages that I'd get on well with like that, a girl. Honestly, I promise you that. I'm not handing my heart. But you can have that dress with No, not the same way I mean, yeah. with Casey and Lee. <laughs> it's been one of the most annoying relationships to watch in Big Brother history. Do you think there might be something good, Carol, between them, after all? Um, I, no, I don't think so, actually. I think, I think it will all be over the minute the show's over. Do you not think we're going to see, like, an happy ending between no, them? <laughs> we don't. We always <laughs> did tonight. <laughs> We've had an happy ending. Yeah. We ain't seen one, have we? Oh, no, I don't, I don't think there will, funnily enough. You know, I don't know. Lee doesn't know what he wants. The only thing that Lee wants is to make sure that he doesn't look bad. He's only worried about how he comes across. That's it. And he's got a little friend in the house and it's Casey and, you know, poor Casey. I, I wish she'd been up for, for eviction because hopefully nobody would have saved her because she needs saving from herself. Yeah. Well, she yeah, needs saving feel... from Lee, and it's... No, I don't think it's going to be a happy ending at all. This, this is the psych show, uh, and uh, let's The talk, clever show. The, the clever show. I didn't know you did shows throughout the week, Ryan. That's very good. You should be proud of yourself. <laughs> let's talk about Jim, though. He's been playing psychiatrist for the others. Yeah. Carol, Linda wasn't very keen to confide her problems in Jim. Would, would you have confided in him? Yeah, I probably would, actually, but I would have made up a load of problems. I would have said, I've got really bad hemorrhoids. What do you recommend? <laughs> uh, or I would have said... Jim, secretly, I'm just in love with you. What shall I do? I need, probably need to have a lobotomy or something. Um, no, I, yeah, I would have. I would have played along with it. I mean, I don't think I could ever hate anybody that much. And I, I you know, I'm not a big fan of Jim, but I, I would have gone along with but it. Yeah. Talking of Jim, obviously, Linda, she, she's left the show last night, as you're all aware, um, and we've we've seen a bit more of a friendlier banter between Louisa and and Jim. Do you think? Yeah. Do you think we're going to see them sort of? Strike up a bit of a friendship now? Tactical. I think it's tactical if they do. They hate each other. They are? I think they, they really genuinely hate each other, but they realise that they... Well, they, they think they're th all through to the final. Who knows what's going to happen tomorrow? But I think it's tactical. They want to stay close to each other so that they kind of have a little bit of a better chance of winning. Do you think they winning. feel like oh, we've met know. a match here? We've met each other's match? 
Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, possibly. I mean, they're both very, very similar. She's like a, a, a sexier, younger version of him, isn't she? I think, to a certain extent. I don't think they look anything alike. No, I'm, not saying they look, I'm not saying they look the same. I'm just I saying... Think, I think they both know what's good for them. You know, the thing is that this could be their last few days and they both don't want to spoil it. So they are trying to get along. I don't think it's necessarily tactical. It might be for... I don't think Louise. They both want to win. They no. both want to no, win. No, 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 no. I disagree. Listen, listen. I don't think Louise does let's, let's, want to win. Let's, let's have a little look and see what Jim had to say about it this morning. Can you watch the difference in Louise and now? Be a different woman. You reckon? I just know. Wow. Friendly, charming, wow. funny. I'm, she's starting to change those viewers' perception anyway, the ones who come every week, because they, she used to get all booze, mm. and now it's yeah. half and half. Yeah. So they must like a little something in her. Yeah, I'd like What it. is it? The, 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 is You'd the... like a little something in her, wouldn't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> those, those two need to get their own sitcom. Right, Ryan yeah. uh, and... Uh, not Ryan, I'm that's you, isn't it? What's the fella with the hat? <laughs> Dappy and Jim, need to, they need to get their own place. <laughs> like when, right when um, Paddy met Sally, we've had that, and yeah, when exactly. Paddy Doherty, Sally Burke, when Jim met Dappy. Yeah, when I think Jim... it'd be perfect. <laughs> I think it'd be great. I think it'd be lovely. Yeah. If he can finally get him out of his bottom, because Dappy is as bad with... Like, you know, when Jim accused um, Louisa of, of crawling up Linda's bum, yeah. Dappy's living up Jim's bum. Come on, he is. He is. He's like, he's all over they him like a rash because he each knows other. he's popular. He's treating him like a father figure. That no, I don't know his set up, but he's treating him like a father figure. I think it's quite a nice thing to see. I, I think it is, but listen, tomorrow yes. we have got a secret <gasps> eviction. I ain't got How a clue. How exciting is that? Who's going tomorrow? Oh, well, it, I, can't, I can't tell, but actually I think it might be, I think it might be Casey. Do you reckon? Yeah, I think because it's a vote to win. I don't because she's right under the radar and she's escaped a lot of nominations. She's and gone I, back I to think... Lee and I think she's lost quite a lot of public support from it. Yeah, Do you agree? I, I would. I think it's going to be Lee Ryan getting booted out. No. He's getting a lot of boos and people don't mm. like him. He's a he's a love rat. He, he's, he's a love, love rat. Um, well, listen, there that. has been enough drama to sink a battleship this week. Uh, but let's chat about our favourite moments. McGiffin, what was yours? My favourite moments are always face-to-face -face nominations. You love a face-to-face. I, -face. I just love them. They're just so telling. And the best one this week was Dappy's when he nominated Louisa. Let's have a little look. First nomination, sorry, but it's Lulu. She called me sexist. First of all, my mum will be mortified if she knew her son was sexist because she didn't raise me up like that. And that touched my soul. <clears throat> Need I say no more? Got me shaking in that. It's got him it's shaking in that. It touched his soul. Got I him shaking in that. But there's so much wrong with that speech, isn't there? You know, he says, my mum would just, would hate it if she knew I was sexist. And yeah. she's, but actually, no, Louisa just accused him of being sexist. So yeah. basically he's admitting to being sexist. Yeah, but at one point... he doesn't want his mum to know. At one well, point... she does now. At one point before, obviously, that nomination, there seemed to be that something could be going on yeah, with them yeah. two after that shower was seen. Do you know what I mean? Is that, is yeah. that all over now? Do we not think that they're going to yeah, be I that thought, close? Yeah, I thought they'd actually done it in the shower that time. I thought something had actually happened. But yeah. Well, she no, comes out no. tonight and she I... sees his big winky. And we know he's got a big winky. She comes out and sees it. But I, I think they're de they, they fancy each other. They, I when, think they do. I think something will happen. She can't, can't resist that When you thing. can't kiss <laughs> someone, you hit them. That's what's going on there. That's what's I know, going I just there. think Dappy there, he, he's just scrambling for something because he can't... He just hasn't got a reason, so yeah. he's thinking of the tiniest little things. Oh, well, I remember She's she called me sexist, like, on day two. I'm just going to go for that. I'm just going to go exactly. for that. Exactly, yeah. And That's then, what he's done. Yeah, they want to change his nominations and everything when she did. You know, it was all just so drama. comical. It was drama all wrong. Central. Yeah. Yeah. It was drama central. Ian, what about you? But this was a really weird bit. After Ollie had been nominated, uh, he oh. came up and did this filibuster of a speech where he, he sits on the... Guys, I want to talk to all of you guys. Guys, I want to talk to all of you guys. I, I, really I good it... impression, but like... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> really it's just that. <laughs> I, I found this so uncomfortable. Have a look at this. I stayed out of everyone's shit because I didn't want things to get worse. So you know what? Both my nominations, I'm quite happy about because it could have been a fucking lot worse. I managed to stay friends with everyone by doing the right thing. And so that's, that's what I wanted to say because... Okay. That's, that's, the, that's cool. it. Yeah, it's just, no, that's just what hey, I wanted mate. to say because. Oh, I'm going to be sick in a minute. It's that clap, isn't it? Yes, old dear. It's that. Uh, 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 we're gonna...
It was a bit old, wasn't it? He's put, oh, Ollie has stuck, put his flag in the sand. He said, I want to win. What he's saying there is, I want to win. Sometimes, I do, you, do you think win. Louisa's right? Do you think it was all a bit self indulgent? Yeah, Lou Louisa was right. I know no one agrees with me on this, but she was right. There was no need for him to gather everybody on the sofa and for everyone to hear it. If he was upset about nominations and he actually yeah. thinks he shouldn't be nominated, the same as Sam, he should have gone to each and the, the two individuals right. that did nominate him. We're running out of time. Rylan, what's your best bit of the week? Uh, my favourite part is the joy on Jim Davidson's face to see that Ollie has attempted a row and he offers him... Well, have a look. Oh, now I've had an argument. Why, what happened? Excellent. Congratulations. That's stupid. Who hey, with Louisa? Oh, Louisa. Talk us through it. Laughing in my face. Don't rush. Who, Louisa? Yeah, laughing in my face. Surely not. Oh, it's not. Down. It's just not fair. That is not fair. Calm down, calm down. And as soon as people sit there and say, you need an opinion, I give an opinion, I'm in fucking trouble and being... Calm fucking bullied. Down, would a, would fuck a, off. Would a cuddle from an old cunt help? It wouldn't help. Wouldn't hurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Rylan. Oh, Rylan. Oh, would you like a cuddle from an old cuddle? Oh, come here, fella. Oh, come here. Oh, yo, good lad. <laughs> Um, I love that. I just love it. The, the, the joy on yep. Jim's face. He's like, yes, someone else has had a row up to me. <laughs> uh, well, listen, that was a nice little bit of chat and Thank some you. nice little moments. Uh, but that is it for this part. But coming up, Linda returns. Plus, we'll be welcoming psychological masterminds Rachel Morris and Kate Marlowe. Sure, Look, thank you very much. I was just looking at your face and again, I won't be seeing much of you and I'm going to miss you. But before that, here are the all-important numbers you need to choose to choose your champ. Who wins? You I'm decide. Emotional. <laughs> The big brother's bit on the psych. This web. is Big Brother. Ryland should pucker up for a selfie with the presenter he thinks is the sexiest. Oh, okay. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Sorry, McGiffin. Oh. Uh, time now to welcome. I do love you, though, Cal. Yeah, you know yeah, I love yeah. You. Whatever. All oh, right, shut up. <laughs> Uh, so I'd like to welcome our panel. It's the last panel of the series as well. Yeah! Oh. I mean, oh! oh no. First up is our resident psychologist, Rachel. Rachel Also joining us. Also joining us is a lady who always puts on a good performance. That's because she's a performance coach. Yes. It's Kate Marlowe. Oh, <laughs> Uh, and finally, a lady who made it all the way to finale night. But then we went and added five days, so she didn't. <laughs> uh, please be upstanding for your fifth evictee, Linda Nolan! Yeah. Yeah. We Have love a Nolan brand here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You can wait until I'd at least done. I know, we put a cross through your to, face. I, know. Now, I can't believe you put... On our desk, we have all of these, like, say, who's been evicted, who hasn't, and Linda's got a massive cross through her face. We could have waited. Linda, <laughs> your <laughs> first 24 hours out of the house, how have they been? Um, it's really weird, actually. Yeah, it's, I bet. You know, you forget that you, people aren't going to tell you what to do, so you have to decide for yourself that you're going to do something. <laughs> and um, we got more... Th I had more than two glasses of wine last night, which was oh, great. I bet oh. you did. Naughty no look. <laughs> yeah. Rach, where do you think it, it all went wrong for Linda? I think it has sometimes appeared as though you made a kind of, um, like, a, you, you made outing Jim Davidson as a fraud and a nasty person more important in some ways than playing the game in the house. But I think what ended up happening is you ended up giving Jim exactly what he needed to look like a victim and make you look like a harridan and a nagging bitch. And I think that has got him a sympathy vote that he wouldn't have got otherwise. It's not your fault. You well, tried. it's not my fault because, believe me, I've seen some of it, some of the show, you know, that was recorded, and I didn't not smile for 24 hours, I promise you. <laughs> Just for the time... Listen, every house, I suppose, has to have somebody who's going to be, you know, labelled the bitch or whatever. But we had... I had great fun in the house. And the funny thing is, I've spent a lot of the day talking about Jim Davidson. I'm out. I'm over him. 
Mm. I don't talk about him before the house. I was in the house living with him. I had a problem with it. And I'm out now and I probably... Well, I will see him again because mm. he's played such a great game that I do think he might win. Well, mm. fair play to him. Mm. Fair play but to his, him. his guard will fall eventually. Kate, what do you, what do you make of it? Uh, it was absolutely fascinating because I think Jim really being very, very clever with manipulating this reality construction was able to exploit Linda's frustration, OK? So Linda, quick to get frustrated, and Jim just kept provoking anger provoking anger, provoking anger with a smile, and Linda unfortunately allowed her buttons to be pressed. I did. And the thing would have been to just ignore him, mm. just completely ignore him, because then he has no Easily power. Say. But can I just say, uh, Linda in real life is so beautiful and so lovely, and I genuinely mean that, because I think <laughs> what, what we saw, what we saw on there, was we, saw, we saw some pretty unflattering images Absolutely. of you, quite, and quite a lot. So, I booked uh, in for a facelift. Very, That's very what I'm doing with my <laughs> <laughs> um, but Carol, Thank you for that. Carol, let's move on to you. Um, if Jim was in your house last September, would you have played it the way that Linda played it? Oh, thank God he wasn't. Mm. Um, no, I, I don't... I, well, I don't know, because you don't know how you're going you, mm. you're to be. I've had a bit of a run-in with him in the past. Um, I don't know. It, it wasn't a serious one. And I didn't have a high opinion of him before he went in. But having watched it as a viewer, I feel better about him now. You know, I just think, I, I know that everybody, I can understand why everybody thinks he's a lovely bloke. I can totally understand that. Um, but if I'd been in there, I, I think I probably would have done, because whatever goes before, I've, I've always said this, I said this right at the beginning of this series, you have to start with a clean slate mm. and you have to accept people for what they are in the house. And I did that with everybody I was in there with, and I know it is easier said than done. I think that's, I think that's, that's, that's what I was going to say, Linda, what do you make of that? I did start it with a clean slate. My only thing, when I was asked about who I what, yeah, you said who would be my worst yeah, housemate, yeah. I said, I mentioned four names because they asked me to mention people names. And obviously, I didn't know they Jim was going Jim in. Jim and he was because they chose yeah. Jim, so he was going in. And I also said that when he's sober, he's lovely, and when he's drunk, he's a pain in the arse. Now, when we went in, I went into Big Brother, we were handcuffed together. Yeah. I lay in the bed that night thinking, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sleeping did. with Jim Davis uh, for three weeks. Oi, 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 oi. Anyway, he, he, he dumped me. Within five minutes, he was on the floor. Um, that was his choice. But I... Um, I've lost my train of thought now. Because well, listen, I'm going to come back to you in a second, because I really want to ask you, Rachel, obviously, because Linda mm. has gone now. Mm. Um, Louisa and Jim, now that Linda's gone, are we going to see maybe them start influencing each other? Like, are they going to be a good influence for each other? No, I can't see how, how that can happen, because the thing about the two of them is they, is they have enormous amounts of pride. It's what operates at all of their decisions, mm. but they have very little in the way of humility. If they had any self-awareness at all, they'd be able to look at each other and see that they're actually looking in a mirror of each other. The thing they hate most about the other is the thing that they find most awkward in themselves. Mm. You know, they're both really loud, they they're both opinionated, and they do care. They both really care what mm. people think. Kate, the youngsters uh, have said they're going to miss Mama Lynn. How is the house going to change without, without the mother figure? Mama Lynn! Mama Lynn! How is the house going to change without the mother figure? Um, well, I think now uh, we've reached the point where the end is in sight. And I think it's every celebrity for themselves now. And they will literally crawl over each other, drag each other down. They'll do anything, even if that's like, you know, making faux friends, sucking up to each other. It, it, it's just like... Back they are determined. Mm. It's ruthless in there now. Mm. You've got the ruth ruthless people left in there. Thank you very much, Indy. Thank you very much. Mama Lee! Mama, 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 Mama Lee! Mama Lee! <laughs> Time! Time now! <laughs> There's a lot of love for you, Mama Lee. Now, yeah, time for another exclusive, and the whole Lee and Casey thing is still rumbling Mama on. Lee! Mama Lee! Oh. It would still hurt me. I think if he, if any, not that you'd get rid of me, but if anything, do you know what I mean, was to happen because of everything that's gone on? Well, I don't know how I'm going to feel when I get out. You don't even know how you're going to feel when you get out. That's yeah, the no, point. Yeah, no. You feel like right now you would give a shit. But you might actually get out and go, I don't give a fuck. No, I think I will. Really? Yeah. Well, how do you know that? Because right I know when I feel. Like we click instantly. Yeah, but it's also. I, don't talk, I just feel like I don't want to talk like that anymore. Okay, all right. Well, what are you going to say? That's right. 
that's all about it. You know I like you anyway, so I don't need to say anything. Oh, I know that, and you know I like you, but... I just... What? <sighs> you feel what? <sighs> Go and say it. <laughs> I feel like I'm embarrassing myself on TV. Well, listen, we are just days away from the final, so we thought we'd get up close and personal with the boys. Oh. Yeah, but, uh, but don't worry, we will not be getting as up close and personal as Lee Ryan oh. likes to, OK? <laughs> we're not interested in these, it. we're interested in this. Here are the boys in all their glory. I'm interested in that. Former end of star. Three triple platinum albums, five mobos, went solo, three number ones, number six album. Never give up on something you can't go a day without thinking about. The greatest battles are the ones we have with our own minds. <laughs> yeah, think about it. I want to win and come second. Not third, fourth, fifth, win. One, two, yeah, yeah. The world is your oyster until you eat a dodgy one and get the shits. I think when there's kind of arguments and stuff, I'll definitely be the peacekeeper in it and make people just love each other. I want a big fucking orgy, so I'll just give it up on <laughs> Hi, my name's Ollie Locke, and you may know me from a show called Made in Chelsea. I'm doing Big Brother because I feel that I need to let... Uh, fuck. I'm doing Big Brother because I thought that... God, what, who's letting me into a house? I don't, who's letting me into this house to, with free speech? It's awful. Does it look all right on camera? Live for the moment and never regret anything. So YOLO, I suppose. Oh, fuck you. The reason I'm doing Big Brother is to mix with young, attractive celebrities and piss them all off. Fuck you, huh? Hey, you fucking motherfucker. Do I prefer Towie or Made in Chelsea? I haven't seen either. But I will now. In case you ask me again next year. In the All Winners programme. Ah, get a fucking grip. What? With Jim, um, Rachel, he's gone in there to most people, let's be fair, a bit of a hate figure, and he's managed to turn it around mm. quite quickly for himself. How's he done it? Uh, well, I've got to give him a really big compliment here because I think that he is a master manipulator. I think he can walk into any environment, he looks at what he has, how he can twist it, how he can turn it round, and then he finds a way to do it. The votes he's getting right now, Mama Lynn! Mama Lynn! <laughs> the votes he's getting right now are sympathy votes, can you believe it? Because he's only got two facial expressions uh, that he pulls all the time, and it's poor me and who me? And that's all we see from him. And the only other time we see anything real is when he's grimacing or when he's glumming. Well, let's talk about these facial expressions. Kate, um, we've seen him after hours with Louisa, so we've seen him after hours with Linda, and he's just walked away, mm -hmm. you know? That's what we've seen. He's just walked away That's and, you know, done, done the face, exactly. But how hard is he having to work just to walk away? Like, how hard is he trying to keep a lid on things in there? OK, well, I've, I've found this fascinating. I think he's working so hard. He's really, really working it. Because if you watch very closely, Jim isn't spontaneous with his body at all. His arms are still, his fingers are still, his feet and legs are still, his face is still, his eyes are completely narrowed so he doesn't give away what he's really thinking. What does that mean? It means he's a liar. Oh. <laughs> it means lying. The police use it to, to suss out people in an interview. It, you can tell when someone's not truth-telling because they control everything. And that's what he does. It's fantastic. It's like J.R. Ewing out of Dallas. He's an <laughs> ultimate villain, and he's doing a brilliant performance. Carol, how much would it pain you to see Jim go on and win? Well, it wouldn't bother me, really, because um, I don't really care who wins, and if he wants to win, that's fine. What no, the no, fuck no. are you doing here, then, <laughs> <laughs> Go on! Go on, go on! But it doesn't matter. What? It doesn't what is she doing here, Riley? No, no, no. Why have you booked her? Stop the chair. Stop the chair. Stop the chair. No, what I mean is it doesn't matter who actually wins. Yeah, if he wins, comes. I think the worthy winner is Louisa, but she won't win, and Jim Wynn will, go will win. And if he does win, good for right, him. We'll go on to Dappy. We're going to get on to the girls, yeah. Let's move on to Dappy. Let's go uh, to Carol's agent as well. Yeah, as well. Hurry <laughs> 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 up. Bye. <laughs> Linda, he's told Jim tonight how um, sensitive he is. Was it, did you find Dappy a sensitive soul when he lived in there? 
I did find him um, quite sensitive, actually. He used to cry every time somebody was evicted, he cried. I don't know if he cried when I was and evicted. And that's coming from a man who said, I don't shed a tear for no stranger. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I put in a Mr. T for either. Why not? <laughs> I don't shed no um, tear for no stranger. I've been in the food. He's got loads of voices. But he's, um, yeah, I mean, you know, he is quite sensitive. My God, he wears more makeup than any of the women what? in the house. I swear to God, I put mascara on him every eviction night. <laughs> he'd go to me, Mama Lynn, oh. mascara. And Mama then he'd go, Lynn, and then he'd go, then he'd go, don't tell anyone. And I said, Well, you did do a good job about it, did you, Lynn? Well, Lynn, I said to him, <laughs> tell everyone. I said, There's 150 cameras right. in here. How are they not going to okay, know? Kate, we, we, we've, we've already done about five different voices for Dappy. <laughs> there's uh, Gangster Dappy, there's Well Spoken Dappy, there's Mr. T Dappy, there's like Dippy Dappy. Dappy. Which is American the real Dappy. one? American Dappy, which is the real oh, one? Well, which one do you prefer? Well, I don't have a preference for any of them, except I prefer Dappy when he is relaxed and yeah. not putting on anything. Because he's very unsure of himself, his identity, what he is, whereas he, he uses an awful lot of things as a defence mechanism. Um, a lot of lads do it, you know, they don't really know what they're thinking, what they're doing, and they, so they put on this bravado. Um, but the real Dappy is really... Probably just a very nice little lad. Now, our, our, nice our body language expert, Judy James, love, uh, James. love Judy James, said earlier on in the series that Dappy was using his wiener to win. Judy James said wiener. Wiener. <laughs> Carol, has Dappy's wiener done enough to win the crown? Oh, um, uh, who knows? Well, it got him to number one, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because he, he broadcast that picture of it and um, <laughs> and it got him to number one. So, I have to so say, possibly. It's absolutely enormous. <laughs> Is it? Is it? And that's coming from Naughty Nolan. A baby's arm. It's well, been maybe described it's as a baby's arm. Because he's very small and tiny. Yeah, it's disproportionate, isn't it? It's right, just, oh, I, I can't keep yeah. talking about Willie because I'm going to get into a bit of fluster. So let's. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, we're moving on to Lee, so <laughs> I'm going to be thinking oh, about Lee. it. Um, From Lisa... one cock to another. Yeah, oh, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, Rach, he's had no filter in that house, has he, Lee? Um, I mean, it is a day and age of media trained celebrities that know how to keep a guard up. But he's just gone in and let it all hang out. What, what, yeah. Why has he done that? Well, I don't think he's had any training, uh, but he could get some from Jim. I think, I wonder if sometimes looking at someone like Jim, who's obviously had a, a really needed to kind of develop this wall of defence, whether or not he was a lot like Lee when he was younger. Lee hasn't been able to protect himself from showing his reality, mm. and he hasn't done himself any favours for it. And he's bleeding us for sympathy as well. I'm another beleaguered man with yet another woman who won't let it lie and it's not my fault. Uh, so I just see him as another Jim right now. I, he's dead to me, dead to me, lovely. <laughs> uh, Carol, he, he, he said, he yeah. said that people must think he is a wanker over the whole Casey thing. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think so. I think he is. Well, really? Uh, yeah, Louisa saw him in the shower, didn't she? Doing that. What, having a Being out. Yeah. <laughs> Knocking one out. <laughs> <laughs> She did, she did. She said it in the diary room. We saw it on this show. Oh, right, okay. No, I think he's not coming across very well because he doesn't know what he wants and he doesn't realise that the camera is watching him when he's saying, this isn't making me look very good because it's all about I, him I and do, it's not about anyone I else. I do kind of feel... I do feel a little bit sorry for him. I don't think he knows what, what he's doing. I do feel sorry for him. Linda, how difficult was it being in the house with the legendary Lothario? He never jumped on me, the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have been happy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know what? I think he's lost his marbles in this house. Right. If when he comes out and sees what he has been doing, he will go, why what? didn't somebody stop me? Mm. Mm. Seriously, he's jumped from Chelsea... Chelsea? Chelsea. <laughs> Casey. It's my age. Chelsea. Jumped from Casey to... Jasmine and back to Casey. He's just been and... all over the shop, he has, not Oh, he? my God. Do you know, when he comes out, it wouldn't surprise me if Jasmine gave him a slap. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. well if rumours um, have got anything to go by, Jasmine might have just slapped him. <laughs> How? Oh. Oh. Do we go there? Do we go there? Find out tomorrow in the main oh show. <laughs> But let's move on to Ollie. Ollie. We've had a bit enough of Lee now. Uh, let's move on to Ollie now. He is a highly experienced reality star, Kate. Yep. Um, could the speech that Ollie gave after the nominations debacle, do you think that was him putting his acting skills to, to good use, shall we say? Um, I think he genuinely meant it because Ollie does have this kind of slightly hysterical, dramatic way about him anyway. Mm. Uh, but I do think that he, he knows how to turn that thing on and he shakes his head and does the thing with his hair and all of that. But really, Ollie, his reality and um, acting are blurred, I think. 
they're completely blurred because of There's that a bit show. Of a Robin fit Doesn't there, know yeah. which is which is which. But I think Ollie is really insecure about himself and how he looks. And if he just stopped that and oh. just just relaxed it all, it would I, be a little bit easier. I think Ollie stands a very good chance of winning. Carol, mm. what do you think? Yeah. I said from the start I thought Ollie could win it, but I, I don't know, I think he might have blown it with his self-important speech. I really think he has. Well, I think I, that's I, going to turn it around for him and make no, him even more I don't, I don't, I think, you know, No, I think people have gone Ten seconds that. Sorry, the thing about his self-important speech was is that he'd been told off by Big Brother in the diary for not doing anything, so yeah. I think he chose that moment after being evicted. Just but his speech it. was just to say, I agree with you. You nominated <laughs> me because I didn't right. have an yeah. opinion. No, I didn't have an opinion. Uh, well, thanks. Good bit of chat there. Give but a I love Good chat. I, I, I know you love Holly. Uh, still to come, we'll be taking a closer look at the remaining ladies in the house. Plus, Ian will be snooping around the Big Brother compound, getting a bit of gossip and all See that. you in a little bit. Ta-ta. <laughs> Big brother. Well done. Brother's bit on this side. Now, Ryland, as the father figure of the psych show, I'm here to listen to your problems and offer my words of wisdom. Now, I've noticed that you are a complex little bugger. What's up? Um, I don't know what you're going on about. Nothing's up. I mean, I, I just don't give a shit. I don't really care what yeah. people think of me. What you're doing, Ryan, is you are always putting up your defence mechanism. Come here, it's time for another cuddle from another... Whoa, 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 It's something you might have seen before. It's exclusive footage from the diary room. If you say that word again, we're going to get taken off here. Come here! Hey. Good morning, Dappy. Hello, beautiful. Dappy, would you take your sunglasses off for Big Brother? Big Brother likes to see your eyes when Big Brother's talking to you. Yeah, but I've got bag size of looking. You don't want to see how big my bags are this morning. Hi, Lee. Hello. How are you today? Yeah, just woke up. Do you mind, please? Big Brother wants to see your eyes, Dappy. OK, how about that, then? I might have lost a bit of weight, I think. Or mm. Any animal is better than humans. We're vermin. That looks a bit sinister. Could you take them off? Oh, all right then, fine. Are you trying to get a job with Big Brother? I think I'd be fucking amazing, wouldn't you? I mean, I don't really abide by the rules and I'm hard to have as an employee, I know. However, my ideas are stupendous. Um... Sorry, I've just woken up. You like the swag today? It's just cash, I'm all right, it's cash. It's great swag. Love you, you seem a bit down today, are you all right? Dappy, would it be OK to remove your sunglasses? So OK, good. Can see yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. I just wanted to just show you my, my swagger done. I'm a swagger dog. It's a high, high rating swagger dog. <laughs> I love you. I can't wait to meet you, man. Maybe I could be Big Brother. There's only one Big Brother. Is it me? You're talking to Big Brother. I'm gonna replace you. <laughs> Nice little angle, weren't it? That was nice. The angle of the dangle. The angle of the dangle. Angle of the dangle. Uh, Mummy Lee! Mummy Lee! Mummy Lee! Earlier we discussed the boys, and now it's only fair we chat about the guess. girls here and the last ladies left standing. I'm Louise Zisman. You may know me from The Apprentice and partying. Definitely a girl about town. <laughs> I have a little saying, which is, if in doubt, smile and pout. Smile. And then you pout. Just all round sexy glam fun. I'm Sam, um, and I'm famous for being on Towie. When people go, oh, yes, like as if they're like pleased, they're up for eviction, I think that's crap. I'll be gutted because I really want to be in the house for the duration. I'm friendly, I am generous, I like to have a drink. I'm looking forward to having fun.
My name is Casey Batchelor and I'm famous for being a model. Um, but you may know me from the lads mags for maybe obvious reasons. I'm actually a secret Big Brother fan, so I've always wanted to go on the show. Get drunk and cause a bit of havoc. I love it. <laughs> I just hope there's some fitties in there. <laughs> so she's not the one up in the toilet. Drop up! No, she does not just say that. He's trying to not. Uh, let's start with Louisa. Uh, Kate, she prides herself on her honesty. Is that mm. just an excuse for her being a bitch? Yeah, I think so. I think honesty, Louisa says, I'm honest, I'm just keeping it real, I'm honest. It's really her way of saying, I'm right, I'm, I'm important, and everyone else should listen to me. And she, the way she does it is with uh, the volume of her voice. So if I say, yes, she definitely is, uh, this, th like that's how she to, does it. Yeah. it. yeah. Rachel, what do you think? Is she as hard-nosed as she's made out to be? Uh, I think she is and she isn't. It sounds like a contradiction to say somebody yeah, can be highly skilled and confident and yet vulnerable, but it mm. isn't. Well, all, you know, the higher the walls, the more fear of being seen. Mm. So this is somebody who's actually a classic introvert. She cares so much, contrary to what she tells us, about what we think about her, that she won't let us see any of Jim who she really is. Jim touched on that is. tonight during the main show. Didn't yeah, you? well, you Jim can see that. it because he's looking in a mirror. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? She's come on. Yeah. She's gone all psychological yeah. on us. Yeah. Anyway, I think you got Carol, these things. last three weeks would have been very different without Louisa. You enjoyed her arguments and the things that she's kind of stirred up. I don't enjoy the arguments. I hate any kind of arguing, even if it's other people. But I do think that she has earned her place in the final, absolutely, because without her, nothing would have happened. You know, and she is funny. She laughs at herself. She finds everything funny. You know, she even <laughs>, laughs at Jim when he's in insulting and being yeah. horrible mm. you know she is she's brilliant and I and I've always liked her. I've always yeah. liked her from the start so you know I think I think she deserves to be there right I, now and it would I be do. boring without well, her. well I've enjoyed the arguments but Linda what's it like living with her and uh, she is the center of a lot of kind of disharmony isn't she not really she argues She's well. She argued with Dappy, didn't she? And yeah, that's a big Jim. one. Um, and she argued with Lat. Yeah, she is. She does. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I. The thing is, in the last couple of days, I uh, last week, whatever, I got to know her better, mm. and you do see a, a softer side, if you like. And we came out. We come out of the diary room, and. Um, and she says, well, I don't care if the people boo me. It's all right because everybody boos me. And I said, Louisa, you do care if the people boo you. Don't say that mm. because then you're enticing them to boo you. I, Let them see the nice side of Louisa. I do think we can see that slowly underneath that surface. But she we've got to move on. a box of frogs. We've got to move on to time, obviously, because we want this to be fair and talk about everyone. So next up, we're going to talk about Casey. Um, now, her time in the house has obviously <laughs> been dominated by the whole love triangle. Uh, Rach, she seems at the moment well, over the moon, that it's sort of back on between her and Lee. What has the whole relationship thing taught you about, about her? Uh, well, she's over the moon because she thinks it's back on, but as far as she's concerned, it's never been off. Yeah. She's got a fantasy yeah. photo fit yeah. picture in her head of her <laughs> life with Lee. Uh, it, he gives her celebrity status. He made her feel um, important in the mm. house. And she, uh, she, don't, she reminds me of the dog in The Simpsons, where he goes, all he hear is blah, 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 dinner, blah, 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 walkies. And she's like that. <laughs> yeah. She hears blah, 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 I do like you, blah, blah, blah. I don't really like Jasmine as much. So all she hears is what she wants Selective to hear. Hearing. What hit, fits in with the fantasy. Thank Kate. you for that. It's selective, oh. selective hearing. I could be a sack. Um, <laughs> Kate, she, don't, um, she gained the public sort of backing mm -hmm. when sort of Lee messed her around the first time when we saw that they come out during the fake eviction. Um, she's gone back to him now. Do you think that the public are now going to be really against her and how do you think that's going to affect her as well? Well, I think what's happened uh, with Casey is fascinating because on the surface it's like, poor me, and she's got these feelings for Lee mm. and all this stuff. But actually underneath, uh, this is somebody who's been very, very controlling. So she's using what she's got to get what she wants and she stamps her feet and and she's really played him and there's a little hint of the bunny boiler about it <laughs> as, as far mm. as I can see. Well, listen, uh, let's move on to Sam. Uh, but uh, her boobs are the biggest boobs I've ever oh, seen. Oh, but we can see it. And, and they are real. They my, are. Mate's got, my mate's got a 3D telly, and it, I was like, put the... Oh, they are. They are big boobs. <laughs> Very big Let's boobs. move on to Sam. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to the likes of Louisa, she has been guarded throughout the whole show. So, to succeed with viewers and the housemates, uh, Rachel, do you think that that's been her game plan all along in there? What, to hide her opinions? Yeah. I think 
there probably is a bit of a game plan when, at the beginning in terms of keeping quiet, stay out of the way, but, you know, keep below the radar. But eventually, you have to come and stand and be counted. People need to be able to trust you, especially in the house. When, it, when push is really coming to shove, it's at the end, the mm. tensions are high. We want to know whose side are you on and where do you stand. And if you don't do that, you won't be trusted. But talking about whose side she's on and stuff like that, we've obviously, this Ollie thing has gone on for, you know, a, a good few weeks now, isn't it? Like, if I'd say the past mm. two weeks, is she isn't seeing what's going on there. Do you think this could potentially could be a bit of a ploy to stay in and do you think she's just stringing him and us along with it all? No. You don't, Linda? I don't. She hasn't been well, Sam, for a little mm, while. No, so know. she hasn't been able to get involved with everything. I think she does like Ollie, but, you know, as you said, they're both old hands at reality TV mm. and I think they would rather maybe get together when they come out of the house. I, think, I don't think she's why. been stringing him no, along. No, no, I, 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 personally, I know I'm not supposed to have an opinion, I don't think she is, but I think a lot of people on the outside are quite sceptical of it because they are reality TV stars. Yeah, well, so maybe, maybe, yeah. Carol, maybe. She, she is kind of almost the antithesis of, of your own, uh, of Charlotte, who's in mm. the house with you. Do you yeah. think she could do a Charlotte and win it? Um, no, I don't think Sam will win it. I really don't think she will, and I don't think she deserves to, frankly, because um, we just haven't seen her. There's nothing, nothing has happened with her. She's got a lot of fans, so she'll be in the top three or four, I well, would say. We're talking about top three or four. Very, very quickly down the panel, Carol, who is going to win? I think Jim will win, but I want Louisa want? to you win. You want Louisa to win. Who do yeah. you want to win? I, I think Jim will win, and I think possibly Louisa or Ollie. I'd like to win. Rachel? I'm sitting next to my winner. Linda, who do you want to win? <laughs> I, I'm devastated that I think Jim will win. Um, but, you know, fair play to him. Good acting. Um, but I would love... I think I would love <laughs> Louisa to win. Mm. Louisa? Yeah, really? I think she'd be thrilled. There you go. Cheers, guys. Well, it's time... Thank you for that. It's time now to hear what Borenwood's finest have to say. By Borenwood's finest, I mean that lot over there. I can spell it very You know the drill. Do the what? That's right. That's right. That's right. Right, I believe I've got a question from Grace. Where's Grace? Grace, 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 Grace. Hello, gorgeous. Hi. Who's your question for? Yeah, a question for Carol. Oh, yeah. Um, if you could pick one of the ex-housemates to be in the final, who would you pick and why? Oh, I think I'd like to... I'd like to put Lauren back in there, actually, um, because... Oh, the ex-housemates from this series, you oh, mean? Oh, <laughs> I was turning into Lauren there. You're doing a Lauren on me now. <laughs> oh, I, I think I'd like to put Linda back in, actually. Oh. Stir it all up. Yeah, yeah, because it would, it really would stir it up, and then we could get some fantastic last five days viewing. And I yeah. promise yeah. I'd smile. Cheers, Leo. Cheers, Leo. Lovely. Uh, David, I believe you. Who's your question for? Uh, hi, Ryan. Hi, Kate. Uh, which housemate do you feel has put on the best performance? and the worse. OK, uh, the best performance, I think something very key. At the very beginning, Jim said, his family said, do not be yourself. <gasps> yeah. OK, ah. so the best performer of this whole series is Jim Davison, because it's a whole act, all right? So it's mm. brilliant. Uh, the worst performance, and I use this in terms of somebody that's kind of not really faking anything or acting, is, is probably Linda. <gasps> For, but but not in a bad way. Just that she, she was act. herself. Oh, I she, see, didn't yeah. she didn't oh. act. Good question. Yeah. Cheers, David. Uh, Thank Lydia, you, I, think. I believe you've got a quick question. Who's <laughs> question for? <laughs> Rachel, we've got a question Rachel, for you both. Oh, yeah. Question for you. Now the um, beautiful Linda is out of the house, oh, and the feud you. is hopefully now over between you and Jim. Do you think the viewers will lose interest mm. in Jim uh, now? Oh no. Jim is going to keep pecking at our heads yeah. all the way to the end. He's not going to let it go for a second. I think that people are going to now watch and they're going to go, well, what's he going to do now? He blamed Linda for, for all of his miseries. If she's not yeah. there, mm -hmm. then he better come up with the goods. Cheers for your question, can I, can I just say, for the sake of fairness, Jim has been taking a knock in today. I've quite enjoyed watching him. I'm quite, I've quite enjoyed watching him. Just to get a little bit of balance Can I just there, say I've quite that I've laughed him. at him in the house? Yeah. Because he is quite funny. Yeah. They made me laugh. And they don't show that. Yeah. All the shows me yeah. with three chins going. I've quite enjoyed seeing him, and I wouldn't mind if he won it. I don't care how many chins you got. He's I always a love a Nolan. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Helen, you where can are always you, have a Nolan. Yeah. 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 Naughty Nolan. I'm always in the mood. Helen, what's your question? <laughs> Hello, um, Linda. You said last night you wanted to take on new challenges. What are you going to do next? The um, jump. 
<laughs> I, well, Splash, I, I'm maybe. actually going to go on holiday. I think. I um, I don't know. I would love. I would love to continue. I do actually. I foster babies. Actually, oh, that's what I did. Yeah. Um, so I want. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I want to go back and, and and do do that again. And um, and I would love to maybe get back into maybe some musical theatre or some presenting because um, I've missed that. I, I really have. I, I kind of. Um, Lost my career. Well, this you should be on the West. You should be in the West. This show does change, change people's lives. <laughs> <laughs> and it's I'm a year ago it. today I won it. Yeah! <laughs> um, <laughs> to get in. I'm sorry, I'm never letting go. Uh, Brennan, yeah, you've got yeah. a question for you, haven't you? Carol. Carol, okay. we've got a question for you. You come fourth last year in your series. Uh, so who would you, um, whereabouts would you place oh, yourself yeah. this year? With this lot? Yeah, where would you place oh, yourself? Oh, no, I, I wouldn't have stood a chance. My tits aren't big enough, I'm not young <laughs> enough, <laughs> I'm too old, and no, I would, I would have been out ages ago. <laughs> All right, very, very, very good. Cheers for oh, your question. Give yourselves a round of applause. Well done. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You are all up. Coming up, we've got all the latest news from the house, including a very special performance from my third favourite band, Blue. See you in a bit. <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother's Bit on the site. Now, this is the show that keeps you more psychologically stimulated on a Saturday night than a wear-ass rave-up all night. Here's today's news. At 10.45 this morning, Louisa told the housemates about a racy girl-on-girl -girl dream she had. Oh, I thought that was about Jasmine. Daffy, I had sex with Liz. What? You what? I had a sex dream. With who? With Liz? Liz? What was you doing to her? I went down with Liz. Are you sure there weren't cobwebs down there or what not? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. Why are you all looking so sharp? You had a sex dream about Liz, yeah? You licking her up? Yeah. You dirtbag. Certified dirtbag. Oh. Not Jasmine, Liz! That's vile. Not that it's Liz, but what Dappy just said. Oh. A, but to be fair, it's always the quiet ones. Yes, it, it is, is actually, the quiet yeah. Ones. Earlier today, housemates discovered a giant grandfather clock in the living room. And when the clock strikes, no matter where you are, what happens, or whoever makes a surprise appearance, the housemates must... This is what happened at 11.36 <laughs> this morning. I'll try to keep it as long as I can. For the mother's cry, one love. For the times we cry, one love. You gotta stay alive. I will survive, one love. For the city streets, one love. For the hip hop beats, one love. Oh, I do believe. One love is all we need. One love is all you need, Lee. <laughs> Listen, guys, keep doing what you're doing. Entertaining. Trust Enjoy me. it. See you later, Leroy. See you, Pinkle. One dub. All right, don't say anything then. Best crowd we've had all night. Yeah, we're used to this. Listen to your bandmates, Lee. They know you best. One love, not two. Oh, all right. Look at her for blue puns, thinking she's all old. And finally, at 3.46 this afternoon, it was Ollie's turn to keep strong when his mum and sister popped in with his number one fan, Evie Beezog. Turn your hands. Come and do the washing up in a minute. We're good at that. Mm -mm. Come to make a cup of tea. <laughs> Don't make There's a baby for you. Yes. Right, it's your daddy. It's your daddy. The daddy. Oh, we're so proud of you. Everybody loves you. We're so proud. Don't cry. Give him a big cuddle. Oh, oh, look, fake Doggy tan. Doggy fake snow. tan coming off. Oh, love you. We love you. Oh, it's a lovely right. dog. <laughs> Evie, <laughs> look, it's wonderful. Love you, millions. Hi. <laughs> oh, I thought that was really emotional.
emotional, but I have got to laugh because Daffy got tongue. Dolly got tongue by dog. Do you know what I mean? Get a grip! Get a grip! Rylan, that dog was licking her bum just before Ollie's face. Gross. That's vile. Oh, that's the news. Oh. Ian, what is going on in the reality gallery? Don't, don't talk about dogs licking their own bum holes when you throw to me, for goodness sakes. I'm a classy <laughs> presenter. Well, listen, earlier on this evening, this task continued. The, uh, the clock struck. They froze. I believe that uh, Lee and um, uh, Casey were in an embrace. Jasmine comes out of the no! clock. No! Jasmine comes out of the clock, goes over to them, completely lays into them, gives them a piece of her mind, has a go at Casey, has a go at Lee. Lee, apparently, it's, this is going to be on tomorrow night's show, it's going to be brilliant. What Lee's, happened? Lee's going, oh, no, she don't mean nothing, babe, she don't mean nothing. Listen, look, no, I've not said that. And Jasmine's going, well, you said this and you said that. Do you not know how you're coming across? Jasmine then storms off back through the clock, and I don't know if you can see, there's a very concerned Lee on the screen. Casey has, been, has locked herself in the toilet. She's just come out. She's in tears, big sunglasses. She is not happy at all. It is so uncomfortable in the house oh. right oh, now. My God. I mean, it's horrible, but it's like brilliant at the same time. Yeah, it is. So it all kicked off. It all kicked off. I can't believe it. I, this it's is like the best reality gallery ever. You <laughs> saved the best till last, Lee. I tell you. <laughs> Thank you very much. You really uh, and um, yeah, so they're just both in tears, uh, and, and Lee is kind of really upset and gutted, which is a shame because when wasn't it great when Blue came in? Yeah, I loved yeah. It. I thought that was a really, really oh. nice moment, and now there's a really. Really horrible moment. That's quite uncomfortable. Oh, Ian, I love you. Thanks, babe. I'm going to rush down there. I'm coming there for the All end. Right, Go, babe, it it. Go. Thanks, Ian. Oh, look, oh. that's another Ian. I know. What's going yeah. on? Well, shiz is going shiz down, is going down. in the house right now, <laughs> and you can all catch it first on the website. So get there first before tomorrow's main show. Uh, oh my God, the stress in there right now. Really? Absolutely incredible. Let um, me plug in. So, excitement aside from that task, uh, we've got uh, a task coming in next week and we want to know your burning questions, OK? Get them to us, tweet us or Facebook, use the hashtag CBBTask. And these questions, are they for the housemates? They're for the housemates, yeah. We want to know if there's anything that you've thought about from the very start or anything like that, who's got an opinion on who, you're asking the housemates your burning questions. Hashtag CBB task, exactly. don't forget it. What else we've got going on? We also did an interview uh, with Blue. Oh, earlier, which was, we which love was really a bit good. Blue. Love um, Blue. Love Blue. It was good. We, we asked them like what they thought on the whole Lee love triangle thing. I'm joking. Um, oh, I'm joking. No, 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 they're going to have like, to go on the website. Yeah, channel5.com forward slash. Big brother. I bet yeah, they're dead right. supportive. Um, we've got exactly. time for a couple of tweets as well. Okay, well, the general vibe is uh, the word genuine here. Um, Basically, this is pe we ask people who you think should win. Kate says, Lee to win, don't care what anyone else says, he's a sound and genuine guy. Mm -hmm. Sam to win, CVB says, Sam because she is the most genuine housemate yeah. in there and deserves it more than anyone. Yeah. Rebecca Smith, uh, CVB winner should be Dappy. He's hashtag entertaining, hashtag funny, hashtag genuine. Gen there is hashtag again. genuine. And such a sweetie. Siobhan, Casey should definitely win, she's amazing. Oh, here's Liam, here's Ian. Uh, so lovely, genuine, and every girl can relate to her. Genuine. Thanks, Ian. You all right, mate? Are you all right? Are we so tired? We're tired. We are. Do you know what? You've just made the link! Well done! <laughs> Time's up, people! That is your last bit on the Psych of the Series! Oh. Thank you to all of our victims, our amazing expert panellists, and our fantastic audience. Cheers, guys! Uh, Ian and I are going to be back on Wednesday night for the Celebrity Brother finale. This one's going somewhere Sorry. else. God knows what she's doing. But before that, don't forget, Emma is back on Monday at 11 with Matt Richardson, Amy Willington, and a very juicy celebrity in the shape of Keith Lemon. I've loved you too so I've much. Loved you. I'm going to miss you so much. Good night. I just want to say. Oh. <laughs>